Okay, now... Let's go up this uh, staircase here. Now, um, one thing I have to tell you is I will not get every single item or I will not... Uh, I, I won't see every single inch of the game. These guys on the ceiling. I just want to pop out. Oh well. And there's a bonfire. Bonfire lit. Let's cop a squat here. All the enemies are respawned. Anyway, um, back to curse. Uh, not only are you instantly killed, but your health goes down to half of your maximum health permanently. So you could drink as many essence flasks as you want. Uh, it won't put you back to your normal health. And the only way to cure the curse is to talk to a guy in Anor or not Anor Londo, New Londo Ruins. Talk to that guy and he'll take it away from you. Or use a purging stone. Purging stone and uh, that guy. New Londo ruins. These guys are pretty, uh, pretty tanky, pretty healthy. By healthy, I mean full of health, not exercise and uh eat your vegetables because as you can tell they're pretty pretty fat blobs uh, I don't imagine them to do that kind of stuff they might do it but not very often maybe once in a blue moon so we're back out here anyway um I don't I don't see myself uh, getting all the items and killing every enemy and stuff like that. I can summon Solaire again, which we will do, because I love Solaire. Yes, come in my buddy. Night Solaire. Praise the sun! Whee. Come on, Solaire, my buddy. Let's fight in jolly cooperation. That is the gaping dragon. Now 
Take it away, Solaire. While I get these items. Thank you. Oh man, he is wrecking Solaire. Man, he is doing a lot of damage to Solaire over here. hit me. So this boss, uh, just like about every other boss, has like a pattern of sorts that they, uh, that they do. Not every other boss, just a good chunk of them has a pattern that they go by. And if you follow that pattern, the boss should be uh, a walk in the park, probably. There you go. I got... What item is this? Dragon King Great Axe. That is also a strength based weapon. It just has strength in the name. Great Axe. Can't expect... Uh, dexterity. Coming from the Great Axe. Just spit me out, guy. Thank you. And I died. And that... That was terrible. I usually... I have, like, no trouble in fighting him. But for some reason, that time I did. I'm just gonna soak in some of these souls here and I will use a humanity more souls There's a humanity. And this reverse are hollowing. Baited Cheezle. Let's summon him to help us. Try them both. See which ones respond. And if neither of them respond, we still have Solaire. Summoning failed. Do they both fail? Let's try again. Summon failed. Okay. Well, let's just, uh, 
Let's see if there's any more near the uh, near the actual boss fight. Man, that was a terrible camera. So let's just run back to the boss pit area place. Screw all these guys. Summoning fell. That took a while to tell me. Let's forget about the other guy. See if there's any items back here. No. Anything back over here? Maybe we're looking for summon signs to help me out with this boss. See, there's Solaire. Oh, it looks like that. Uh, heavy crossbow and some bolts. Let's just uh, let's just skip the cutscene. Uh, can't. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Let's run back over here and grab my souls. There you go, there's a tail. Tail can be pretty painful to uh, Oh, that is not what I wanted. That is what happens when you two hand your a few flasks. So it's not a big deal if I uh, use the So yeah, the last time I didn't really follow the pattern very much. I just kind of attacked when I wanted. Which is kind of not what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's back up. Now let's really back up. Something different about these uh, bosses compared to other video games is they can actually break the environment. It's actually pretty cool. They do things you don't expect a boss to do. That was actually pretty close. I'm surprised how close that was.
Yeah, this boss fight's taking quite a while because he has a lot of health, actually. Uh, another thing about this boss is he's weak to lightning too, so uh, if you've got some more of those uh, gold pine resins, then you could probably kill him pretty easily, but uh, fortunately you can't put lightning on this weapon. Oh my goodness, I found him. It's kind of hard to follow when he's in the air like that. Let's get in this corner over here. Yeah, when he, when he, uh, he has this gold, th oh my gosh. That was terrible. Anyway, he has this gold throw up that he spews all over the battlefield and and if you stand in that for too long that can break your weapons and armor and stuff like that. Which is not a good thing because then you have to repair it and and if you don't it only does so much damage and it does like barely any damage at all to be honest. I'm taking so long to kill this boss. It's getting more aggressive now, actually, than previously. He's flying up into the air more often than he used to. I need to get behind him. He needs to stop moving. Just needs to stay still. He didn't go very far. He's almost down. Well, let's take our time. We don't want to rush into killing him. See if he still had his tail there. I swear to God, he's almost dead. Oh, that's the gold throw up. Come on. That was very careless of me. That was, don't do that. Let's take a flask. Sweet Jesus, thank you. That took forever. Blight Town Key. Twin Humanities and a Homeward Bone. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, to the bonfire and heal up and uh, cover all my SS flasks. So I'll see you guys there in a second. So here we are back at the bonfire. Let's level up. Uh, yeah, that's it's a lot of uh, levels or lots of souls that I have there. So let's get one more vitality. Let's get a bit more dexterity. Uh, more endurance. 
that's all good. 